Today we are looking at double symbols but before we do that let's have a look at these prior learning questions to revise what we learnt from last lesson. So the first question starts at minus 6 and I have to take away something which means move to the left to get to minus 10. So if we use a little number line down below here we're starting at minus 6 and I need to go 1, 2, 3, 4 jumps to get over here to the minus 10. So the number I need is a 4. For the next one we're starting at minus 2 and I need to subtract something which again means move to the left to get to negative 7. So let's count the jumps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps to get to the negative 7. So the number I need in there is a 5. And for the last one, that's a little bit backwards, I need to end up at the 2 and I need to take away 7 to get there. So it might be easier to actually add the 7 onto the 2 and go to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, to get the 9. And then let's just do a double check. 9 take away 7, yes, that does make 2. Okay, so today's work is all about this dot point here. It says adding a negative number is equivalent to subtracting its opposite. Now that sounds a little bit confusing, but what we're going to have in our questions is two symbols next to each other, a plus and a minus sign. When you see those two symbols together, I want you to circle them, and a plus and a minus sign together will always be the same as subtracting, just the one minus sign. So you can see that written here, it becomes two minus three, and two minus three means we start at two on the number line, and we go three jumps, one, two, three jumps, to the left which lands us at negative 1 to get that answer. Okay, let's do a few more of those questions down here. The first couple I'm pretty sure we don't need our number line for, but we're doing 5 plus 2 which is equal to 7, just normal addition. Question 2, 3 plus 7 makes 10. The next ones from 3 onwards we are doing our double symbols so you can see that plus minus in there so we circle that and that makes a minus. And you can do that for all and all these plus minuses make minus signs. So for question 3 we are starting at negative 1 and we want to subtract 2 so we go 2 places back and we end up at minus 3. For question 4, we are starting at a negative 1 and we're subtracting 3. 1, 2, 3 lands at negative 4. In question 5, we start at negative 2. Minus 2 means jump 2 to the left and we land at negative 4. Question 6, we're starting at negative 1 and we want to subtract 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 makes the answer negative 7. Question 7, we start at negative 3 and we want to subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 means the answer is negative 9. Question 8, we start at negative 5 and we are subtracting 2, so always to the left, 1, 2, to get to negative 7. Two more down the bottom here. Um, these ones don't actually fit on our number line, so if you have one of these on your study sheet, you might want to make sure yours goes a little bit further than 10, maybe go from minus 20 to 20, just to make sure your number line is big enough. Um, so question 9, Again, the plus minus makes a minus, and same with question 10, we want those plus minuses to be a minus. Question 9, we're starting at negative 6, and we are going to the left 6 places. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and we land at negative 12. And question 10, we're starting at negative 7, 
and we want to go five places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, which is also negative 12. Okay, so just remember all those plus minus signs are just the same as a minus sign. And you are going to do pages 15 and 16 of your workbook, please.